In the early 1960s, President Kennedy set a bold goal, a man on the moon by the end of the decade. At that point, NASA had only a few hours of human spaceflight experience. Many Americans had even come to accept that the Soviet Union, having already launched the first satellite and the first human into orbit, would win the space race. To achieve this incredible goal, NASA needed to develop rockets far larger and more powerful than anything ever built. But scaling up to such a massive design brought a new world of complex problems. In this video, we'll dive into the specific issues NASA faced with its F-1 engine, how their engineers fixed them, and the truly unusual method they used to test their solution. To lift the colossal Saturn V rocket off the launch pad, its first stage relied on five F-1 engines, each one capable of producing 1.5 million pounds of thrust. Achieving that level of power required pumping immense amounts of RP-1 fuel and liquid oxygen into the combustion chamber. Here, the propellants would ignite with explosive force, launching the Saturn V skyward. The first stage alone burned through an entire Olympic swimming pool's worth of fuel in just over two minutes. The company tasked with this monumental challenge was Rocketdyne. They had actually designed the F-1 engine several years earlier for the U.S. Air Force, but the project was shelved because the military couldn't find a use for such a powerful engine. Then, NASA came along. In June 1962, Rocketdyne was ready for a long-duration test of the F-1. But as the engine roared to life and the turbo pump spun up, the test came to a catastrophic end with a massive explosion. It took several more explosive tests before the engineers pinpointed the culprit, combustion instability. This is a phenomenon where the propellants burn unevenly within the chamber, causing enormous pressure swings. As one section fills with more oxygen, it creates more heat, which pushes the flame around inside. In the F-1, these pressure swings were happening 2,000 times a second, creating a destructive force that could literally rip the engine apart. With the Apollo program well underway, NASA needed a fully capable engine for the first crewed flights, which were just a few years away. Since an engine of this scale had never been made before, the solution wasn't going to be obvious. Engineers turned their focus to the injector plate, which feeds the fuel and oxidizer into the thrust chamber. The original design was a single large plate with multiple injection holes. While common, previous engines never had this instability issue because their thrust chambers were much smaller and the propellants were more contained. To solve this critical problem, Rocketdyne engineers looked back at one of the very first rocket designs, the V-2 rocket. Developed by the Germans during World War II, this rocket contained the perfect solution to fix the F-1. Instead of a single flat injector plate, the V-2 used several nozzles to separate the combustion into different streams. The engineers theorized that these more controlled sections in the V-2 eliminated the possibility of combustion instability. To adapt this theory to the enormous F-1 engine without a complete redesign, engineers added a series of baffles to the injector plate. These baffles split the combustion into different zones. After experimenting with many variations, the engineers finally landed on a layout that seemed to stabilize the combustion. This new design was put to the test, and sure enough, the engine executed a flawless burn. But the engineers weren't fully convinced. Many worried that once the engine was in flight, the extra forces and vibrations could reintroduce the instability. So, to fully test the new design, NASA did something wild. They placed a small bomb in the center of the injector plate and set it off as soon as the engine fired up. The idea was that this small explosion would create an immense amount of instability, far greater than the engine would ever naturally receive. When the bomb detonated, the flame inside the engine became completely unstable. But almost instantly, the baffles on the injector plate started to dampen the pressure swings, and the combustion became stable again. 
NASA performed multiple explosive tests to make sure the combustion instability was truly gone. From the very first Saturn V launch to the very last, 65 F-1 engines propelled astronauts into space without any instability problems. Looking back at a time when rocket engines were designed with slide rules, the ingenuity required to overcome these monumental challenges is truly spectacular. And while we've yet to return to the moon, we can absolutely appreciate the incredible genius that got us there the first time. Thanks so much for watching. If you found this journey into space history as fascinating as I did, hit that like button. Let me know what you thought of this incredible story in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next video.